What you wear under your arc-rated clothing is almost as important as the arc-rated clothing itself. So the arc-rated clothing is the outer layer, it's the first line of defense. However, what you wear underneath is relevant and here's why. If you're in an arc that's bigger than the clothing is rated to take, and that's not supposed to happen, but it can in the real world, what you're wearing underneath, it's vitally important that it not be meltable. So you can, of course, wear an arc-rated base layer, that's a terrific idea, but if you're not wearing an arc-rated base layer and they're not required, what is required is that that base layer not be meltable. It must be made of all natural, non-meltable fibers such as cotton, silk, or wool. And in that way, if you need it for additional insulation because your outer layer has been overwhelmed, it's not available to melt. You do not want molten polymer on your skin. That's a very bad idea.